guys, welcome to Girlify, where I take a random concept and try and make a girl out of it. So for the first episode, I uh, did a poll on Twitter and the... Uh, I'm not good at voiceovers. So the poll on Twitter, uh, people decide on pasta. Unfortunately, I had already drawn out the sketch before I started recording. So you're just going to be getting the lining and... Uh, the coloring process. So, um, I work on an iPad, and uh, it's the iPad Mini, I think. Uh, It's fairly new, and I use an Apple Pencil with it, and the program I use is called Sketchbook, and uh, I use a I use the line smoothing tool, I think it's called predictive stroke, to try and get my lines uh, correctly, but there's uh, there's always some issues, like when I'm trying to draw a curved line, it decides this must be a straight line, and it's not a straight line, and you'll see that happen a bit. So I'm trying to do a very quick process, which is why the uh, lace isn't all that detailed. And Let's see, I gave her a big, poofy skirt to try and simulate a plate of pasta. And I thought that would uh, look nice. One thing I wish I had added uh, was maybe a ribbon around the edge of the skirt. And then her hair is all like wavy, like, you know, pasta, like spaghetti. And her little hair dealies are like meatballs. And you'll find that the little bows on her look like a farfalle, um, another type of pasta. Yeah, as you can see, the smoothing is kind of messing with uh, how I want the leg to look. And you'll see me try and fix the shoes a little bit later on. Let's see. And I end up changing the leg a bit on this because that made, like, I don't know, that part of her leg look way too big. And for some reason, I could not get this foot right, like, at all for a long time. And but finally, I get something, like, okay. And then, so when I do my coloring process, I make the background some sort of shade of gray to, and because I feel like it makes it easier. Because the, um, the selection tool and the fill tool don't work the way I would like them to, I instead will sort of, uh, do a line around the edge of what I want colored in and then color it. So, I originally did her hair this kind of, like, very bright yellow, but I end up not liking that either. So I changed it to a lighter yellow soon that, um, I feel is more pasta-y colored. But I did like how the girls came out. They came out really nicely. And of course her dress is red for, like, pasta sauce because, duh. Gotta have that red, that marinara. Gotta have that marinara. And again, just coloring the outline. Try and just. I'm thinking maybe trying another program that might have the uh, the selection tool work the way I would like it to. In Photoshop, you can select something and then adjust the selection selected area in like down to like minute pixels which is how I usually do it and then I'm working on the little meatball stuff and you'll see why when they're sort of fully colored in why I kind of wish I'd added a little yellow ribbon around the end of her dress because it just looks it looks a bit off like 
the the pasta sauce is not resting on any pasta. I also changed the little ribbons a bit. I changed it to a different shade of yellow than I originally started. And I found I liked that better for her hair and I made it more cohesive. So then I had to change her skin color because it was too much like her hair color. And then nice white for nice white pasta plates. And of course a nice white apron. You know, gotta have that look. I'm gonna be a cute little pasta girl. Doing the little curly bits is annoying, but eventually you get there. Oh, this is sped up instead of being, I'm, I'm sure you can tell this has been sped up instead of doing a sort of real-time thing. I would love to do more of a real-time, but right now um, I would need different equipment to capture my iPad because my iPad is my primary drawing thing right now. My computer is very slow because it's uh, 10, 11 years old. So it's just like, it's getting to that point where I might need to get a new computer. And I primarily spend most of my time on my iPad. I love drawing on it because one of the issues with the computer is you can't see what your, you can't see what your hand is doing while you're drawing because your tablet's down in your lap and the computer screen is up on the screen. I'm just doing little cute little wrist things and the cuffs of her sleeves and then red because I couldn't think of any other colors. I'm a bit disappointed that I didn't come up with more colors for this since I love colors but I couldn't really figure out what other colors I wanted to do. I did her eyes green to add some contrast of course. I kind of wish I could have added more green into the dress but then it would have looked pretty Christmassy doing some blushing and uh, erasing the blushing. Um, so I'm trying to come up with a quicker process than usual, but uh, it's cause I usually have everything on different layers, but this time I didn't. So now I have to erase the blush myself. And now we're getting into the shading. I did a pretty, really simple shading, like the barest hints of shading kind of shading and I used green but later I go in and sort of um, add more colors to it it's just a you know a green on multiply kind of layer very simple uh, shading that they tell you not to do in art school trying to get the hair shade is right is can be a bit difficult, especially if you're not consistent with your light source, like me. Like I forgot to add shadows and that side of her hair completely. Ah, why? Why did I only notice this now? Why? Why have you forsaken me, G? This. Any more shade to her dress? And her knees. Gotta have those little knees. Yeah, I'm... After all these years of coloring digitally and I'm still not sure how to shade properly. <laughs> you never learn shade, kids. Never learn shade. And afterwards, I had sort of uh, airbrush some more shadier parts, just a little bit. And then I'd go in with some highlights to have maybe like a little bit more dimension to it. I also like airbrushed some highlights a bit before. And then just a little more shade on her eyes to try and like, you know, give them more dimension. As I said, this is a pretty simple process. A little lipstick, and then, so, I thought maybe doing some nice little swirl, like, 
little swirls for the background and I, I do the whole background and decide nope didn't want to go with that so yeah the whole thing the whole plate and then I'm like just I need some type of squiggly squiggly spaghetti so I just settle on these sort of wavy lines it's not very good but I couldn't I cannot do backgrounds I really can't then you know trying to figure out where to put my signature and I have to autocorrect on my signature because I have terrible handwriting and here she is Miss Pasta goodbye